Hi, I'm Jesse from the Cade Museum for Creativity and Invention, and this is Little Sparks at Home. Today, I want to talk a little bit about insects, bugs, and creepy crawlies. Sometimes insects seem a little bit scary, but they're actually really interesting once you get to know them. An insect is a small animal that has one, two, three, four, five, six legs, and one, two, three body sections, and one, to antenna sticking out the top of its head. Can you guys think of any insects you might have seen? Yeah, things like ants, uh, butterflies, bumblebees, praying mantises, uh, even beetles. Those are all different kinds of insects. Today, we're actually going to make our own insect that you guys can play with at home using some things you might find around the house. Let's go. I'll show you how to make one now, and later you can go to cademuseum.org with a grown-up to learn how to make one at home. To make our caterpillar, we'll need three pieces of paper, preferably in different colors. We'll also need some markers or crayons, glue, scissors, and uh, some pipe cleaners or straws cut into half. We'll need eight pieces about this long. To start out with, you'll want to trace three circles on your paper. Um, and these need to be circles in three different sizes. Now, if your circle drawing skills are better than mine, you can freehand it. But I think it's easier to find three differently sized cups or jars or things like that and trace around those. And again, this may be something you want a little help from a grown-up. Next, you'll want to take your scissors and cut around those circles that you traced. So I'm going to take my glue and glue these three shapes together. One, and two. Next, our insect needs legs so it can walk, and antenna so it can sense the world. So we're going to take our pipe cleaners and glue them on both sides of our insect, like so. Insects have six legs, so our insect will be getting six pipe cleaners. And make sure it's glued down well. Now our insect needs some antenna. So we're going to take our last two pipe cleaners and glue them to our insect's head. Finally, we want our insects to have some eyes and a mouth so it can see. So we're going to take our markers and draw on some eyes. Mine has eyebrows and a mouth. You know, all this talk about insects and bugs and creepy crawlies has got me thinking. I used to be kind of scared of bugs, but now I think they're kind of fun and kind of interesting. When bumblebees are buzzing and dragonflies are flying. When ants are marching one by one and ladybugs are sighing. Oh, and crickets play their fiddles and inchworms stand up tall. Creepy crawlies don't seem very creepy after all. That's all we have time for today. If you want some more Cade Museum fun, go to cademuseum.org with the grown-up or stay tuned to this channel.